Picture this, you're all set to connect your brand new laptop to an external monitor for a presentation, but there's no HDMI port. No problem, you grab an adapter, only to realize your USB-A mouse also needs a dongle. Frustrating, right? This isn't just a minor inconvenience, it's a trend. Laptop manufacturers are systematically removing ports, forcing us into an ecosystem of adapters, dongles, and wireless peripherals. And they're calling it innovation. But here's the twist. This shift isn't only about making laptops thinner or sleeker. Sure, that's part of the pitch, but behind the scenes, there's a whole web of industry pressures and hidden motivations driving this change. Why are some ports disappearing faster than others? Are we truly moving toward a more efficient future? Or are we being funneled into ecosystems where everything costs more and works less seamlessly? And here's where it gets even more intriguing. This port cutting phenomenon might just be the beginning. What if the future of laptops is a completely portless device? Stick around because as we dive into the reasoning behind this port disappearance, you might uncover some surprising and unsettling truths about where the tech industry is heading. Once upon a time, laptops were loaded with ports. USB-A, HDMI, SD card readers, Ethernet, you name it. Each served a clear purpose, giving users the freedom to connect, expand, and adapt their devices with ease. Fast forward to today, and most new laptops come with just a couple of USB-C ports if you're lucky. What happened? The story starts with a shift in design philosophy. In the early 2000s, Apple's MacBook Air set a new standard for laptops, thin, lightweight, and minimalistic. Competitors scrambled to replicate this formula, and bulky ports like VGA and Ethernet were among the first casualties. USB-C, with its reversible design and multifunctionality, emerged as the ideal replacement, promising one port to rule them all. I shall see you kneeling to me. I'll never kneel to you! But while this sounded great in theory, it wasn't the seamless solution manufacturers hoped for. Here's the twist. The move away from traditional ports wasn't just about aesthetics or technological progress, it was also about control. By phasing out universal standards like USB-A, companies could push proprietary solutions, like Apple's Thunderbolt accessories or Microsoft's Surface Docks. This shift increased costs for consumers while locking them into specific ecosystems. What's more, some ports didn't disappear because they were obsolete, they were eliminated before their time. For instance, the SD card reader remains indispensable for photographers and creators, yet it's vanishing from most laptops. This trend raises a critical question. Are manufacturers optimizing for users or their own profit margins? And if we're already this dependent on adapters now, what does the future hold? When USB-C was introduced, tech enthusiasts hailed it as a game changer, a single port that could handle power delivery, data transfer, video output, and more. On paper, it was supposed to be the universal solution, the hero that would streamline our lives. But let's pause for a moment and ask, has it really lived up to the hype? USB-C's versatility sounds amazing in theory. One cable, one port, endless possibilities. But here's where it gets tricky. Not all USB-C ports are created equal. Some only handle charging, while others support high-speed data transfer, 4K video output, or power delivery. So, while it may seem like you have everything you need in one port, the reality is that you still need to carefully check your laptop's specifications to see what's actually supported. It's a level of complexity that doesn't feel very universal. To make matters worse, there's the issue of compatibility. Just because you have a USB-C port doesn't mean your existing devices will work with it. External monitors, for example, may require a specific USB-C version with DisplayPort or Thunderbolt compatibility, neither of which are guaranteed. The idea of a one-size-fits-all port is great, but it often results in confusion and the need for expensive adapters or dongles. So, what's the real cost of this supposed simplicity? Sure, it's sleek, but at what point does convenience give way to frustration? And is the promise of universal connectivity starting to feel a little less universal after all? There's no denying it, the push for ultra-thin laptops is relentless. Every year, manufacturers are trimming down the thickness of their devices, chasing after that sleek, minimalist aesthetic that we've all come to associate with premium tech. But what's the real price we're paying for these slimmer designs? Let's start with battery life. The thinner the laptop, the less room there is for a sizable battery. As a result, manufacturers have to compromise. 
And what do we end up with? Laptops that look great, but leave you scrambling for a charger halfway through your day. Thinner laptops don't just affect battery size, they also put limitations on cooling. With less internal space for ventilation, devices can overheat more easily, leading to throttled performance or even component damage over time. But it's not just performance that suffers. Think about the ports. To make a laptop thinner, manufacturers often eliminate ports like Ethernet jacks, HDMI, or SD card slots. The result? A device that's just as functional in terms of speed and power, but requires an adapter or dongle to use essential features. Suddenly, that thin, minimalist design starts to feel more like a hassle. The question becomes, is the slim form factor really worth the trade-offs? Sure, it's beautiful, but when it's costing you usability and performance, you have to wonder, how thin is too thin? So we've all been there, needing a USB-A port, HDMI connection, or even a headphone jack, and realizing that your ultra-slim laptop doesn't have one. It's like manufacturers decided we didn't need these old-school connectors anymore. But here's the twist, maybe we do need them. The trend of eliminating ports in favor of minimalist designs is partly driven by the push for slimmer, lighter laptops. But it's also been about a single vision, wireless connectivity. With USB-C, Thunderbolt and Bluetooth pushing the limits of wireless transfer speeds and the growing use of cloud storage, manufacturers believe that traditional ports are a thing of the past. But is that really true? The problem is, not everyone is on board with this wireless future. Many people rely on legacy ports for practical reasons. Fast data transfer, charging multiple devices at once, or even plugging in external monitors for work. While USB-C is fantastic, it hasn't replaced everything just yet. There's still a huge demand for HDMI ports in professional settings, for example. And the reality is, not all wireless technologies are as reliable or as fast as wired connections. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Some companies are pushing for a middle ground. We're starting to see laptops that offer a mix of both modern and legacy ports, giving users the flexibility they need. Could this be the future of laptop design? Maybe the solution isn't all wireless or all wired. It's about finding a balance. Would that be enough to bring back the ports we thought were gone for good? Now, let's dive into a side of this issue you might not have considered. The hidden costs of removing laptop ports. Sure, it looks sleek and futuristic to have a laptop without a mess of ports, but what's the real price we're paying? First off, there's the issue of accessibility. When manufacturers drop ports, they make it harder for people to use their devices in the ways they're accustomed to. It's not just about legacy devices. Many people still rely on USB-A for file transfers, external storage, or even certain peripherals that just won't work over USB-C or wireless. The transition to USB-C has been far from seamless, and not everyone is ready to upgrade their entire setup. Then there's compatibility. The loss of ports can severely limit a user's ability to connect to different devices or work in certain environments. For instance, professionals in industries like video production or gaming are accustomed to using HDMI, SD card readers, or multiple USB ports for their workflow. Without these, users have to rely on clunky adapters, which can be inconvenient, unreliable, or even cost prohibitive. This makes people think twice before upgrading to the latest laptop. And it's not just about what you lose, but what you gain. Sometimes these designs sacrifice performance to make room for a thinner, sleeker machine. In the race for aesthetic appeal, the practical value can suffer. So, is the allure of a sleek laptop worth sacrificing convenience, flexibility, and compatibility? The answer might not be as simple as we think. So, now we've covered the practical side of things. What happens when ports disappear? But what about the future? Is this all leading us to a world where we can go portless and not even notice? The truth is, it's already happening. The rise of wireless technology is one of the driving forces behind this shift. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, and USB-C have already made a huge impact, allowing for data transfer, charging, and peripheral connections without the need for physical ports. It's convenient, clean, and, let's be honest, kind of futuristic. But here's the twist. While wireless is the future, it's not perfect yet. Right now, wireless data transfer speeds still lag behind wired connections in many cases. For example, transferring large files via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth can still take significantly longer than using a USB-A or Thunderbolt port. 
Plus, not every device is fully compatible with wireless tech. Some are still tied to older standards that just don't cut it in a portless world. Here's where it gets interesting. What if we're moving too fast? Laptops are becoming more integrated with our home and work ecosystems, but with the rush to remove physical ports, are we sacrificing flexibility? The shift towards portless designs might push us towards a more streamlined future, but it also comes with some very real trade-offs that many users aren't fully aware of. So, could we eventually see a world where ports are completely irrelevant? Or are we getting ahead of ourselves with a future still very much in need of a physical connection? This is where the battle between convenience and practicality really heats up. And that's the catch with modern laptops. Designs get sleeker, more powerful, and more feature-packed, yet we still lose basic essentials like ports. It's a stark reminder that every tech breakthrough comes with trade-offs. But this trend of sacrificing practical features doesn't stop with laptop ports. Think about the evolution of battery life. Despite all the innovations, why is it that we're still dealing with laptops that struggle to last an entire day? Are we heading towards a future where battery life becomes yet another casualty of progress? Click on this video to find out more.